Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about state API overview. Okay, what is state variable? So if you are familiar with Drupal 7, we are having a, a variable get and set in Drupal 7, right? So this is the replacement for us in Drupal 8, okay? So as like how variable gets and set are working, the same way the state variable is going to work here. For those who don't know Drupal 7, so state variable is something like you can save a variable value in global, okay? It will be environmental specific. So it will not go under the configuration, okay? So uh, when you save any data in your site, it will be available in that site alone and it will be saved globally. So you can access it from anywhere in your files, okay? So I will tell you, and also the variable is getting saved in the database. So I will tell you where the database table is exist and how it is getting saved, okay? So first, before that, uh, it, is, it is defined as a services in uh, uh, Drupal 8 and 9. So you need to call the service and you have to use this state variable in your website, okay? So we have some set of functions already for this state variable. One is uh, get. So first one is get function. Get function is to get the value of your variable and set is to set the value and get multiple. By using get multiple, you can access the multiple state variables and set it's a get set all or vice versa and delete also has like and reset catchy means by default, the state variable will be saved in the uh, catchy. So once it loaded from DB, so when you want to reset the catchy of the state variable, you have to call this function, okay? And next, so when we can use this state variable, you can have question like this, which means I will tell you some example, like when uh, default by default uh, core has cron, right? So the core lost run time is getting saved in the uh, state variable. So the state variable timestamp will not move from one environment to another environment. And the last timestamp will be stored in the database. So based on that, it is going to run the next cron particular period of the time. So, okay. So when you have a settings like globally, you can use this. Okay. And um, so let me showcase how it is working. Okay. So I am going to showcase it in the form alter function. So I already created a form alter and custom module and I already added a condition for article page. So as I already mentioned, uh, state is a service as you hear, right? So you have to call the service. So service you have to call by this way. So state is a service for that. So this is coming from the state.php file in code, okay? So this file is defined as a service in code. So we are going to call this class file by using these services, okay? Services are nothing but it's like a utility function. So whenever you need some service, some action, only that time we will call that and we, uh, we will be executing our execution, okay? So that is called services in Drupal. So now we successfully uh, initialize the state variable. So next, I'm going to get the value of, let's say the value is, um, variable is testing, okay? So I'm going to get the value of testing as test. So now I'm, so I'm going to say that if dollar, if empty of dollar test, so I'm going to set the value for the test okay testing it is testing so the value is a b c d e f okay so now we are getting the value of now we are getting the value of a uh, uh, testing variable from a state api by using state api if that testing variable is empty i am defining the value for it that is called ABCD. So once I set a value, 
I will be having a value here, right? For state, state tends to get off testing. Okay, so testing. So let's refresh and see here. So here you can see the testing variable is uh, printing with the value of A, B, C, D, E, F, okay. So in uh, this state variable in DB, it is saved in the table called key value. So this value is saved as a blob. Blob is binary large object, okay. So let me show you where it is saved in database. This key value table, okay. Here only we are having uh, all state variables are saved here, okay. This uh, in this table, state variables are uh, segregated by using this collection column. So since it's a uh, state, yes. So I'm going at the end. Let's go to sixteen and check. Okay, here we have a uh, state variable, right? So. <clears throat> for this state collection, we, are, we have defined a new variable called testing. So this block will contain the value as ABCD. Okay. Now the testing variable is added as a added to your state variable, and state variable is saved in the key value table. Okay. When you uh, db dump in your another instance, that time you can have the state variable, whatever you have in your local, you can have, but when you, you when you move the configuration in that time, the state variable will not get moved, okay? Since it is saved in the DB table, okay? And next, um, we see about, we saw about get and set, right? Next, let's see the get multiple and set multiple, okay? So when I uh, set the value for testing, I'm going to set the value for testing and also checking, okay? For checking, I'm going to keep X, X, Y, Z, okay? So I have different value for one more. So next I'm going to see value for both. So get multiple of checking and testing, okay? So you have to pause it like an array. Now let's see how it is printing. So here uh, it will say the test value is already there. So let's change this value as n only test. Okay, because the condition will not execute inside here. So if test means the variable will not be present already. So instead of test, we can keep QWERTY. QWERTY, okay. So let's save and load now. So the value is array. Instead of print, let's keep print underscore or okay. So now, so now you can see the both value is coming right in get multiple. Okay. So as like uh, the same way you have to call the set multiple. So set multiple will be like uh, this. So this will be set. And testing, I'm going to give value as all special characters. Okay, and for checking also we'll give the special characters. Okay, so now we give value for both and let me, here it will print the old value, here it will print the new value. Okay, this will print this one and this line will print this newly set value. Okay. So now you can see this is printing the old and this is printing the new value. Okay. So um, that's it about get multiple and set multiple. And next is delete, okay? So let's delete some value and see how it is working. Before that, we'll see the DB so that we can see, see the how the delete is working, okay? So it's in the 16th page, right? Go to 16th page. So here you can see uh, testing XYZ. XYZ is created by ourselves, right? No? Okay, that might be created by myself for testing. Okay, so let's delete this testing, okay? Dollar state, 
stands to delete of testing. Okay. So let's save it and uh, let's load the page. And I'm going to refresh here now. Go to 16th page. So now you can see the testing variable is not here, right? So that is how we need to delete the variable. Okay. Let me showcase for 15th page. So it has A, B, C, D, A, B, C checking, right? Let's delete the both by using the state delete multiple. Okay. Delete multiple is for ABC and checking. ABC checking. So let's refresh here now. And the page is 15th. The function should be capital M. Okay. So let's refresh now. So we have to move to your 15th page. Still there. Okay, we didn't load the page, right? Let's load and check. Site encounter zero. Okay, we need to pass it in array. Okay, now we passed it in array and we are loading here. So let's load here now and check. So here you can see now the state value ABC and checking is not present since we uh, deleted it, okay? So that is what delete and reset catchy is to reset your state variable catchy. You have to call it as like this, okay? It will reset all the catchy value, okay? And that's it about state variable. All these are the function available to handle your state variables and um, hope everyone likes it if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye